Dying Light 2 is getting some massive changes and recently we got a sneak peek of it, but the roadmap has also raised a lot of questions. But my friends, no worries because Timon Smectala, the franchise director of Dying Light 2 has already answered all those questions in the recent AMA. So let's start with the first question and make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything Dying Light 2. The first question says, when is the new update coming out? Timon replied saying, currently we're aiming for the next update around late October. But we have no date yet as we want to make sure all the features we want to introduce can be properly finished in time. We will inform you when it's the right time as soon as possible. Next question. What are incentives for player to do the tower raids? Do we get some unique loot? Timon replied saying, unique loot is definitely the plan. We're still working on the details, but it's obvious the extrinsic motivation to play them must be there. Next question. What are tower raids going to entail? How many players will be allowed? Will there be continued updates? Timon replied saying, this is a new type of gameplay for us, so we'll focus on a solid base and then keep on adding to it. They're meant to be a single and co-op enabled dungeons with challenge increasing with each floor, ending with a big finale at the top. Next question. Will we be given a storyline to unlock guns to continue the narrative the game has said or will they just randomly appear? Timon said, I don't think you will accept it if they just randomly appeared. So yes, there will be an explanation to that. Next question. How do you plan to balance the guns when the whole game was built around melee only? Timon said, it's something we're working on trying to find the perfect spot. So we have quite a few means to do that. Either through access to ammo, through noise they make when they shoot them, through AI reactions to hit. I think they will be cool addition to player repertoire. For me, Dying Light has always been a great zombie sandbox which gives you like tons of tools to play with the infected and firearms are another addition to the bag of goodies next question how will the weapon repairing work will we be able to repair our weapons as many times as we want or will there be a limit on how many times we can repair our weapon Timon said, you'll be able to repair your weapons at a craftmaster using the in-game resources. We were considering limited number of repairs, but then would it really work for you? So current implementation of for limitless repair at a craftmaster at a cost, I think it's a good balance. Next question. Will there be modification for firearms like silencers, bigger magazines, etc.? Timon said, we have some plans for that, but we want to introduce the classic stuff first. So not in the first iterations, but later on, it depends on the demand. Next question. How many new knives and pole arms will be added to the game? Timon said, we'll start about with five types per each weapon type and then slowly start expanding the roster. Next question. Will we ever get GRE relief cases like in Dying Light 1 for another way to farm legend XP? Timon said yes, details are coming soon. Next question. How exactly will the community mod support work? Timon said there's a huge list of planned stuff we want to introduce new surprising assets to our mod creators. But the big idea is to reach the stage where it's both easy to almost anyone to do such kind of mod and allow you to not only use maps but also other modifications. Please stay tuned for more info, we just don't want to announce anything pre-release as these things are very capricious so we'll start talking only when we are 100% sure when those plans will be ready to deliver. Next question. Option to play community maps with your friends, playing it alone is boring. Simon said it's our plan but I can't commit to any specific timing for this feature yet. We see community maps as an evolving feature and at some point, hopefully soon then later, we'll introduce co-op on community maps. Next question. Is every weapon type going to have a finisher for it? Timon replied saying we have more than 100 plus weapons in the game so having a specific one for each would be impossible. But there will be variety and brutality. Next question. Will there be changes to the dark zones and the snow during winter events? Timon said I can't promise snow but we really have something cool planned for the winter event. I can bet my favorite Korean dish that you will love it. Next question. Will nightmare mode have a permanent death? If so, will there be a worthwhile reward so that there is a good reason to complete it? Timon replied saying we are split over this. Permanent death feels like an overkill for most of first. But I imagine there are some players that elite of hardcore that would like to test themselves like that. Perhaps we'll do something just for them. Next question. Will cooking be added as a mechanic in a future update? Timon said, I love to cook. I cook something almost every day. So it's really hard for me to say that there are no plans to introduce cooking to Dying Light 2. But we do plan on introducing some food for you to digest. So wink wink. Maybe Timon here is talking about this survival mode, having some food options. But anyways, time will tell. Next question. New skins will be added to the zombies and bandits to give more variety to the game visually. And and also if at night the normal zombies can transform into viral ones. Timon said the next few updates will introduce a new variety to our enemies, expect changes to not only visually but also to their behavior and logic. Next question, are you planning on adding more rewards for the legend levels? Timon said we plan to do some tweak to the legend levels soon, probably in two steps over the next two updates, some new stuff will definitely appear there. Next question. How is Techland responding to the Dying Light Points backlash? Timon said we introduced this just several weeks ago and we treat it as our first iteration. But our goal is to offer you an experience that you'll be happy with, so our first response to the feedback we received is smaller Dying Light pack which we introduced on PC already. But this is just the first step, the team is also looking into some solutions like offering opportunity to buy parts of the skin bundles as an individual items and allowing you to get Dying Light Points during special in-game occasions. I would also like to believe we have some track record proving that we are capable of 
listening to the feedback and making things more in line with your expectations. So please give us some time. Next question. Will we ever get more tools to make it easier for modding because it's hard right now? Demont replied saying DevTools Themes is continuously working on expanding the tools provided. Currently, the scope is to focus on LODs and adjusting the existing maps to work smoothly from the in-game menu. With the community mods announcement, there's also a focus on implementing features that will allow access not just to the community maps but also a variety of regular mods on the platforms. Next question. Regarding the community mod support, will the mods be auto-approved or will they be need to be reviewed by someone, the modding platform review team? And will Mod.io be the modding platform of choice or will there be another like official support to something like Nexus? Demon said we want to make Mod.io a central platform for all modding purposes since it's more streamlined for us to make them accessible on consoles. So if you created your mod for Nexus, our goal is to make it possible for you to upload the same mod on Mod.io platform. Now when it comes to reviewing the mods, this is something we will address closer to community mods feature release. Next question. Guns related. Will the gums come with the unique elements like durability and such? How scarce will be the ammo and how many varieties will there be? What should we accept with the balancing when shotgun, rifle, handguns are added? Demont replied saying regarding the ammo part, there will be a different ammo types for different weapons. Ammo mostly crafted, so all of you explorers out there will definitely have more of it. We definitely do not want the firearms to overshadow melee weapons, but we'll also want you to enjoy them, so we're looking forward to the sweet spot that will deliver both goals. Next in the final question, why should I give Dying Light 2 another chance? Demon said the game has received more than a dozen updates in the last 18 months so got tons of free stuff and it's not losing its steam. If you didn't play it for some time, I'm sure you'll appreciate all the changes we have made so you should give it a try again. So guys, that's all the questions that was asked during the AMA. Yes, there were some more questions but it was repeated questions and some questions were not related to the game. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this upcoming content in Dying Light 2 and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.